Hello everyone, Dr. Turpo here, Black America's Love Doctor, talking to you about love and life and different perspectives on different issues. Um, if you like these videos, please click like, or um, you can uh, subscribe to the videos as well as share them with other people. Um, so um, without further ado, we will get into the question uh, for this evening. And the question I have today, it says, Dear Dr. Turpo, I am a rich African-American male and I would like to know your opinion on why women focus so much on money. All right, so great question. I love this question. <laughs> it, uh, it's about wealth and dating and why women focus on money. So uh, let's just put a disclaimer out there, first of all, that not all women focus on money. And let's also uh, put the disclaimer out there that men sometimes focus on money as also. Um, so now, um, let's just go ahead and put that disclaimer out out there so now that we got that disclaimer out the way let's get real okay <laughs> let's get real um many men have noticed that women tend to focus on money when looking uh for men in dating and they have a tendency to do this now the question that we have that this viewer is asking is why do women tend to focus on money um, so, uh, here is my take on that. You asked for my opinion, I'll tell you why that is. Um, you know, I think that there's a message out here, um, uh, today, uh, that strongly encourages us to believe that uh, men and women are, are the same. Um, a message of androgyny, that there's no difference between us, um, that the only differences that we have is due to nurture. And it's because boys were given trucks and guns growing up and toy guns and toy trucks and girls were giving tea sets and doll babies. And that is why we are different. And uh, I do believe that our nurturing has caused a lot of our, our gender roles, uh, stereotyping and uh, uh, our behavior as society and culture. I give you that, uh, that is true. However, it's not just nurture. It's also nature. So, you know, in this debate between nurture and nature, um, it's not either or. I'm a strong believer that it's both and. Um, as, much, as much as I do agree with the nurturing argument, the nature argument is very strong, okay? And uh, my belief is that we are wired differently. Our plumbing is different. Our insides are different. Our hormonal balance is different. Hormones are largely responsible and largely influential on human behavior, the way we think, the way we feel, the way we behave. And because we have this different differences going on inside of us, uh, it causes us to think, behave, and feel differently. And so uh, part of the reason why uh, we're attracted, uh, why women tend to be attracted to some things more heavily and, and guys are, tend to be attracted more uh, to some things more heavily, it's a largely because largely a, a part of it is based on our nature, our, our intrinsic uh, dynamics, physiological dynamics that are going on. So um, women tend to be so with, uh, without delaying anymore. Women tend to be attracted uh, to men. One of the most powerful aphrodisiacs that a woman has toward a man is a man who is she's strongly attracted to men uh, for a lot of different reasons, but one of the main reasons that a woman is attracted to a man is uh, power. Women tend to be strongly attracted to power, and a lot of times they don't know <laughs> why they're attracted to a man, but a lot of times it's because of his power. They say it's just something about him, some type of je ne sais quoi, something, you know, girl, just something about him, I don't know <laughs> what it is. And power is a, is a large um, aphrodisiac that attracts women. Now, there are different manifestations of power. And there's the um, um, overt uh, power, meaning obvious power, uh, such as height. A lot of women tend to like tall men. And that would not be me. <laughs> uh, or statue of somebody who's real big. Um, and then uh, there are other... Uh, manifestations of power such as um, wealth which is what we're talking about today um, status in society leadership intellect 
a man who can teach her something. Um, uh, bad boys, this is why a lot of women tend to be attracted to bad boys because they exude power, they buck the system. And also confident swag, guys who are very confident, uh, that swag value that a lot of women tend to really uh, be attracted to. So now, the reason I believe that women are attracted to this power is because deep down she is wired to search for a man that will provide and protect her and her offspring. And I think it's in her nature to search for someone who will provide and protect her and her offspring. And so in our culture, in American culture, what we, the type of society that we've created, uh, one of the um, largest variables factors that will help you to be able to provide and protect in this culture is having a lot of money. And if you have a lot of money in our culture, uh, that capital is very valuable and can allow you to do a lot of things. It can create freedom. It can help you to provide and protect um, uh, women and um, their offspring. And so women deep down are looking for this. I don't believe that women are consciously looking for this. A lot of them, some of them are. And um, I think the women that consciously are doing it, I don't blame them at all. As a matter of fact, I, I think it is a smart move for women to be looking for someone who can consciously looking for someone who can provide and protect them and their offspring. So um, men tend to be wired to be attracted to the, some of the same things that women are, just like men. Uh, however, one of the biggest things that men are, are attracted to is no secret um, sex. And that's very obvious. <laughs> men are attracted to sex. And so this is why um, women who exude sexuality uh, uh, are what men tend to be attracted to. Now, why is that? It's because a man is wired to want to put his DNA into posterity. His children. This is his immortality. This is how he keeps living forever and into the future. And so what better uh, woman to do that than one who is uh, fertile and uh, the, all the communications of fertility, which is health, beauty, um, uh, looking sexy, healthy, young. And so uh, men tend to be very strongly attracted to this. And so, but today we're focusing on the question at hand was why do women tend to focus on money? Now, um, so that is why uh, I think women tend to focus on money and they tend to be attracted to guys who display wealth. And if, if a guy can display his wealth, that tends to be very attractive to women. Uh, unfortunately, they get labeled as being gold diggers and all this other negative, negative things, but actually that is what a woman needs to be doing is focusing on somebody. And if you're upset with that, then uh, there's no, as a man, you don't need to be upset with that. that. The answer is not to be mad at women for focusing on money. The answer is you need to get out there and make some money. That's what you need to do as a man not blame and be angry at women for wanting a guy with money. No, you need to get out there and get some money so you can do your role and provide and protect. And so um, don't run from it or complain about it. Just understand the nature of reality. We need to understand that this is just how reality is and accept it and stop fighting it. Okay, now women oftentimes, like I said, are not consciously thinking about it. Uh, but that is a big reason, a big factor what women are attracted to. I'll even go out and say that women who disagree with me, who are watching this video, they feel the same way. <laughs> even if they disagree with me, there is something about them, uh, within them, that is, tends to be attracted to men who are powerful. And they may not consciously know that that's what they're attracted to. Now, that's not to say they're not attracted to other things. Nice personality, sense of humor good looks, all these other things, but that is a big chunk of what women in general, we're talking in generalities, what women tend to be attracted to. So um, uh, men tend to like uh, younger women for this reason, and women tend to like older men uh, for this reason. And that's why the market value tends to happen. In, in the dating, the market value tends to go that way, higher value with women who are younger and higher value with men who are older. Uh, because um, uh, younger women uh, tend to be attracted to older men because 
uh, older men tend to have uh, achieved things in life, leadership, um, money, um, wealth. And so that's why uh, women tend to be attracted uh, to that. And older men tend to be attracted to um, younger women because younger women tend to exude and um, display more um, fertility and health and beauty and, th and these types of things. So, folks, I know this is um, this is not politically correct stuff I'm saying. I'm just reporting the nature of reality as I see it from my perspective. And to me, it makes a lot of sense that women uh, are looking for men with money. And for men who are out there talking about gold diggers this and gold diggers that, uh, just get over it. That's just the nature of reality. Don't be mad at women. They're doing what they need to be doing. Okay? And the men, you want a sexy woman, you want to have sex and all that stuff. And, all right, well, she wants to be with somebody who's bringing something to the table. Okay? So you need to do your part. <laughs> and provide and protect your offspring best way to do out there is get out there and make you some money get your shit together and make some money okay i've been just going to be just blunt about it all right is that everything no but it sure does help if you're trying to be a husband and father that you get out there and you make you some money so women stop complaining about men wanting sex men stop complaining about women wanting money accept the reality and then manage that reality toward your benefit. Harmonious wishes.